Hello and welcome to the Poor Man's Guide to the Galaxy. My name is Alfred Turner and my cat is staring at me intensely. This is uh, going to be part two of uh, my uh, what you get in a food parcel videos because apparently I missed a few things in my last video which I know I realized as soon as I had stopped filming that I missed a few things and I couldn't be asked to to reshoot it so and we'll just redo it again with all the stuff I I missed and I don't think I even had all the, everything at home anyway so now we're just going to do part two of this and in the end because I'm probably going to re realize oh I missed this so it's going to, going to probably going to be like 15 parts in this anyway but moving on to the first part is I think I might have mentioned this in the last video but just didn't show it but toilet paper you do get one uh, one roll of toilet paper, at least that's what I got. Depends on how on your family situation, how many people you have living in your household and things like that. But I think the reason because that they just give you one roll is that you can't really estimate how estimate how much people are going to use in three days, so it's just three days so it's just going to be easier to just give people just one roll. Uh, one whole roll and if you decide oh i'm going to buy or donate some toilet paper it doesn't have to be the fantasist brand this is the morrison's savers brand that i use it's all right it's 18 uh, rolls for two pounds 90 at morrison's at the moment so yeah it's all right i donate it i usually buy an 18 pack every now and then and donate that to the food bank and then i just buy another 18 pack for myself every couple of months, every few months, however long they last. They last a pretty long time, I would say. Nothing fancy. And next on the list, I think I mentioned it but again, but I didn't have anything to show and that was the option of what kind of potatoes do you want? So you can either get the regular potatoes, I'm, that's why I'm not giving you the finger. And these are just the tinned potatoes. Focus. Yes. So the same spurious potatoes in just water. And this again is just the in the store brand of mash. You know, there's also sachets that you mix with water, you hold water and then you get mash. So you usually get the option of that, or at least I did when I went to the food bank. And uh, again, if you decide to donate that, this, they always need potatoes for some reason. At least my food bank all, always does. Then, you know, again, it doesn't have to be the fanciest brand. You can just get the cheapest brand, but which one, whichever you can afford, if you like, you can afford at the time. And. Now we come to one of the most important things, which is a tin opener. Good old tin opener. Now, as you probably guessed, most of the stuff that you get in the emergency food parcel is going to be dried or tinned, or long time. It's and it's probably or like long time. Long life food is probably going to outlast humanity, basically. Well, maybe not, but who knows. And some people don't have tin openers. And uh, every now and again, my food bank asks people, hey, we're running low on, on this. Could you please donate one, one or two of these to give to the, to the clients who come to pick up their emergency food parcels? Now this is a new one, it's from Morrison's and it looks a bit fancier, it was a bit expensive actually but you don't have to give one of these, this was, since this was really expensive, you can just get one of those smaller ones that just sort of crank open with your hands, you know, instead of, you know, just get a, cheap, get a couple of cheap ones and donate to the food banks whenever they need it and or if you have two, for example, and you realize, oh, I'm not using this one, then um, 
just give one to the food bank they're going to be very happy about it and if you're at the food bank and you're not sure if you have one just say you know oh, okay can i get one and if you then you realize when you get home that oh i actually had one in my drawer here then just bring one, bring the one you got back or to a drop of point and just put it in the donation box and they'll give it some to someone else it's I actually had one, so yay me. And moving on, I remember this is the one that I can't remember. Did I get noodles or did they ask me about noodles? Because this is these are the instant noodles, like the ramen style. These are the vegetarian one or just yeah, vegetable flavor instant noodles by Sainsbury's. In store brand again. As you can tell, I eat a lot of in store brand brands. So it's cheaper and tastes pretty much the same. I really like the Sainsbury one. But uh, yeah, you, you do. You, I don't know if it is going to be the same for yours, but I was. I think I was asked. I must have been asked because they're collecting them. If I wanted some instant noodles. And, but I know that people who are in like temporary accommodations, if you're homeless, for example, then you might only have a kettle and a yeah, pretty much like a kettle or a microwave to to do your cooking in. Then these will come in hand, come in handy. I know that that my that my food bank is also collecting those like pasta and sauce packages that. It's like a dry sauce and dry pasta and then you just boil it in some water or some milk for like five minutes on, on the hob and then you get whatever flavor it is you know they come in like like a pasta sauce with cheese or like broccoli and cheese or like ham and cheese it's always the cheese oh that was a text message hmm. or it's like barbecue or chicken you know those kinds of sachets they're always accepting them them as well at the food bank so and it's really good for people who might have limited uh, options of cooking if for example they're in, like I said in temporary accommodation or emergency accommodation because they're homeless or for whatever reason you know they're always good to donate as well and they're not that expensive I know Morrison's usually do them like for like two for a pound or and then or something like that so buying a few of those when you see they offer and just put it in that the donation bin is and speaking of tins tin spaghetti I've never tried it and I don't think I got it from the food bank I know I got like tin beans with sausages in them and I know I've donated like tin beans with vegetarian sausages but this is like spaghetti hoops in a tomato sauce I never had it I don't know what it tastes like, but I know that my food bank is always asking for them, and I think they. And um, but hey, if I was hungry enough, I would probably eat it. So I can't just. Ugh. I think they also have them like, I think they're like spaghetti or they like those little hoops of spaghetti or whatever they are, and in like um, tomato sauce, I suppose. I don't know if there are sausages in them. There might be or like baked beans might be an option as well I don't know um, I know that there's like also like ravioli like tin ravioli again never had tin ravioli um, but uh, I know that the food banks really they're always asking for them As, again I suppose this is for for those who are in the emergency or temporary accommodation if you're homeless or for whatever reason, if you, you know, just have limited ways of cooking your food. But yeah, that's part two, I suppose. And I will be updating shortly. And uh, I do have a few ideas of videos that I want to make. So I'm actually thinking about doing like, a, like an experiment with a, with a food bank, food parcels, food parcel. I'm not going to be accepting it. I'm just going to put it together with the food that I have from home and things that I buy 
that I bought from the shop and just do an experiment and see what does a three day box actually look like or package actually look like and how well can you live on it for three days. So stay tuned.